we want to simplify the given expressions. For number one, we have y to the third times y squared raised to the power of six. To begin simplifying, we'll use the power property of exponents as shown here. a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So the given expression is equal to y to the third times y raised to the power of two times six. Two times six is equal to 12, and therefore this is equal to y to the third times y to the 12th. And now we'll use the product property of exponents shown here. a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m plus n. And therefore y to the third times y to the 12th is equal to y raised to the power of three plus 12, which equals y to the 15th. So the given expression simplifies to y to the 15th. And now let's take a look at number two. Number two, in the numerator we have x to the fourth times x to the third squared all over four x to the seventh. We'll first simplify the numerator and then we'll simplify the quotient. So looking at the numerator, we'll first simplify x cubed raised to the second power or x cubed squared which would be equal to x raised to the power of three times two, or x to the sixth. So the numerator simplifies to x to the fourth times x to the sixth. The denominator stays four x to the seventh. Still simplifying the numerator, x to the fourth times x to the sixth is equal to x raised to the power of four plus six, which gives us x to the tenth. So we have x to the tenth divided by four x to the seventh. Now from here, if it's helpful, the x to the tenth in the numerator has a coefficient of one, and therefore we can think of this as one fourth, or one divided by four times x to the tenth divided by x to the seventh. Well, one fourth doesn't simplify, so we have one fourth times this quotient. Simplify this quotient because we're dividing and the bases are the same. Notice how we subtract the exponents. So we'd have x, raised to the power of 10 minus seven, which equals three. So the given expression simplifies to one fourth x to the third, which you can also just write as x to the third divided by four. Either of these expressions would be correct for the simplified expression.